What do you think about um, a woman being expected to know how to cook by force? See, um, for me, it's a very, it's, um, it's a very multifaceted topic mm -hmm. in the sense that when I saw the, when I saw the, the tweet from, um, from the, the pastor, yeah. I knew it was going to open a whole kind because, of wounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I played devil's advocate for him, thinking, okay, what can be the context of this in this new modern era of Me Too? I mean, women are not going to take that very, um, they're not gonna, it's not going to sit down well with them. But see, the issue is this. Most African people were raised with defined roles. For genders. Your mother was in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Your father did little or no chores. Whether we like it or not, he read the newspaper. Those people <laughs> are the products of that of that vision. Mm. It's almost like how they say to you when you see a woman, you see a mother. Mm. However way you discount it, however way they separate in their ways, there is still a subconscious that has been built while they were growing up mm. that mirrors their mother mm. or father as the case may be. Yeah. So the man with time would expect that his woman would go into the kitchen, yeah. even as a cook will direct it. Mm. Let me give you an example that is personal to me. I was raised by a single mother. My father died when I was five. I've never expected a woman to make food for me. Mm. Because why? I never saw my mother do it for anybody. Mm. So it was never my expectation that, okay, <laughs> when I come home, my wife's going to have made food for me. But guess what? Being a man and knowing that the woman takes care of you somewhat, mm. with time you begin to almost expect or, okay, if nothing, just there's a I'll cook, so there's probably. a maid, direct the affairs or very yeah. once in a while, you know. I think the pastor is basically saying it should just be a basic requirement. Mm. If you don't know how to cook, you, you, you will not eat or you mm. keep eating out. Mm -hmm. One of the two. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to settle and have defined roles, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate for the pastor now, mm -hmm. thinking like he's not just saying, if you can't yeah, cook, yeah. Yeah, that's the end of the love, don't marry. No, I, so I basically he I doesn't know how to tweet well because what he's yeah, saying I don't, is, I don't, I don't yeah, think. Not, there's more to that. There's, there's, more, there's more to it. So, and okay. I, understand, I understand the whole reactions. Mm -hmm. Really, in this new world now, I, I mean, you might be able to go to the kitchen yeah. and fix something if you're really hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, I mean, there's no, there's there's no tree, slave mentality. Tree, mm -hmm. tantrums, and the thing about yeah. cooking is, I always take, obviously, you guys know I have a, I'm, I'm a health coach. Look, I'm like, there is nothing like cooked food at home because it has a vitamin. Mm. I would say it's called vitamin L. Love. It's, it's in the food, it tastes different. Mm. It's the reason why you still go and see your mother and be like, I want to eat that. It's not mm. like it's the best thing in the world. But there's, there is love in that. In, in, in that. So, again, coming from the pastor's angle, I'm thinking that's, that's the things that he meant. Yeah. Your, if your wife cannot cook for you, how? If she, can't, if she doesn't know how to cook, mm. how will she express love sometimes? Mm. 